what Covenant Doors and Sun Heat are doing, working together, is absolutely uh, awesome and very impressive. I just had a tour of the facility. The technology that they're using, the workforce that we see here today, they're committed to excellence. They're committed to what Nebraska stands for, our ability to produce very good products. And I enjoyed the remarks earlier Wayne was talking about how we're bringing these jobs back to Nebraska. We are very, very fortunate as a state, and it is reflective of the values and the beliefs of this state. As we stand here today, approximately 30 states haven't finished their budgetary process, and it ends today. Nebraska, we're way ahead of the game. It's absolutely amazing to me as I travel around America, here we are leading the country, and this is an example why. Yes, we have our challenges, but Nebraska has the lowest unemployment rate in America because of the great citizens that we have here in this state, the great companies like Sun Heat and Covenant Doors who are willing to make a product right here in Central City, Nebraska. Some of you have heard me say before, recently, uh, MainStreet.com did an analysis of all 50 states based on three criteria, and they came up with the Financial Happiness Index. And I'm proud to tell you that I am the governor of the happiest state in America now. <laughs> Those three criteria were your unemployment rate, which were the lowest in America, tied with North Dakota your foreclosure rate, which were second lowest in America, and then a comparison of your non-mortgage debt to your average annual income, and we were fifth. And you combine all three, Nebraska was number one, wasn't even close. Our, our neighbors to the east, Iowa, they were a distant second. Kansas was a, a, a more distant third. And I tried to share with uh, people around the country because people have been asking me a lot lately, well, how are you able to do this in Nebraska? And I told them that uh, we follow a very simple, powerful, and important concept. We don't spend money we don't have. And that's reflected in the businesses and the investments that they make in Nebraska. They make sure they have the ability to either have the cash or an operating loan to pay that off. Our citizens didn't take out home mortgages they couldn't afford to repay. And so we have this great quality of life. And I'm very, very proud of where our state stands today. One of three or four states in America that's not currently in a fiscal crisis. Now, we're not immune to this national economic slowdown. But today is an example of why we continue to make progress and why we have opportunities that other states don't. So I want to say to Wayne and Ted and everybody involved in this, Thank you for your commitment and your investment in Nebraska, especially in a community like Central City. And what this demonstrates is that anywhere in Nebraska, we can create jobs. We can make it happen. It doesn't always have to be in Omaha and Lincoln. Central City is important to this state. So is McCook. So is Valentine. So is Shad. We're one state. One state. And so today, uh, I'm excited to be here. I want to share one other bit of good news, if I could, with you. Now, when you're the governor of the state of Nebraska, it's important that you know about taxes and spending and jobs and all that. But it's also very, very important that you know what's going to happen with Husker football. And I just <laughs> want to share with you, I, I, I've been at a couple of meetings here recently with Coach Fellini. And I think he's doing a fantastic job. And he's bringing the program back to the way that Bob Devaney and Tom Osborne had it. And what I was sharing uh, and talking with the coach, and he's sharing with me that, you know, we're going to be bigger, better, faster. We're going to have more depth. And we've got a tough schedule. But I, I shared with the coach, and I'm not trying to put pressure on him, but I said, Coach, I'm just like every Nebraska. I start out every season believing that you're going to win every single game in the national championship. And it would really be nice if you could do it this year or next year. But we'd all really appreciate that. So I'm not trying to put words in his mouth. <laughs> but I know we're headed towards a national championship uh, in the very near future. And that's what we have here. A national championship team, Covenant Doors, and Sun Heat working together to produce the kind of products 
that we are really proud of. And they're able to do that because we have a national championship team out here in yellow shirts. So I want to say to all the employees, we're really proud of you. Uh, I know your leaders would tell you they, they couldn't do it without your commitment, your dedication, and your professionalism. So today is a day to be very proud of our state, proud of Central City, and proud of these two companies. Thank you very much.